The inflammatory response is an important nonspecific defense against tissue damage. It begins when injured tissue cells release chemical signals that activate the endothelial cells of nearby capillaries. Within the capillaries, adhesion molecules called selectins are displayed on the activated endothelial cells. These adhesion molecules attract neutrophils, slow them down, and cause the neutrophils to roll along the endothelium. As the neutrophils roll along the endothelium, they encounter chemicals that activate integrins, which are adhesion receptors on their surfaces. These integrins then tightly attach to adhesion receptor molecules on the endothelial cells. This causes the neutrophils to stick to the endothelium and stop rolling. This accumulation of neutrophils along the walls of the capillary is referred to as margination. The inflammatory mediators released by the injured tissue bring about changes in the environment that cause mast cells to degranulate and release histamine. Histamine causes vasodilation and an opening of the junctions between the endothelial cells, allowing fluid and leukocytes to leave the capillary and enter the infected tissue. The neutrophils now undergo dramatic changes in shape and squeeze through the endothelial wall into the interstitial tissue fluid. This process is called extravasation. The neutrophils, followed by other types of phagocytes, are attracted to the damaged site by chemotactic substances released by bacteria and tissue breakdown products. They ingest and destroy invading bacteria.